Welcome back everybody. Got another day of working on the ambulance here. Haven't filmed much lately because I've been doing a lot of the mechanical stuff that is honestly just too dirty to be filming. Don't want to handle my camera when I am covered in grease. So thought I'd show you a little bit about what I got done. We are getting closer. Got some more stuff to do today. Got some stuff to fix. So I'm going to show you that too. So here we go. Now, one of the first problems here I had was the lights were flickering. So if you see right here, this does have an adjustable voltage regulator. You take that bolt right there. There's a potentiometer behind it. You can adjust the voltage. It was pushing about 14 and a half volts. Should be 13.5 on the dual batteries. Got two of them. So that's the old school regulator there. That controls the main battery. That goes to secondary. So we've got two batteries here. Now they're both pushing 13 and a half volts. No more flickers. The next big project was the brakes. The rear brakes on this were in pretty bad shape. Both the wheel cylinders were leaking. So completely redid the back brakes. Not really much to show there, but it was a pain in the hind end. Uh, took the backing plates off. New shoes, new wheel cylinders, new brake lines. All bled up. Brakes work great now. That was a big project. Glad to have it done. It was a nasty, greasy mess. And now on to the inside. It is an absolute mess in here. Let me get you spun around here and show you what I've got done, or taken out anyway. Up top here, we got the air conditioner mounted, the heating unit. Air conditioning is working now and it cools it down in here nicely. Glad I decided to keep that unit. And then it was a absolute nightmare to get out, but this was one of the exterior boxes here that housed a bunch of stuff and it has been completely cut out. All the aluminum is gone. This is going to be where the 12 volt cooler goes. Going to have some storage both inside and out. Going to be a whole separate box built there. May throw a couple batteries down there depending on what power configuration I end up with. And now on to today's task. Got to get up on the roof, which means ladders. And I don't like ladders. Have neuropathy in your feet, no feeling. I have no clue if I'm standing on a ladder rung or not, so I have to be super careful. But we finally got some rain the other day here in Indiana, and I have some leaks. The top of this is two separate pieces of eighth inch aluminum that seals the roof. There's seams between it, and it doesn't look like they've been sealed in about 40 years. Looks like someone had tried a little bit with caulking. I noticed that when I was up putting the roof vent on. So, gonna remedy that today. Um, I marked all the spots inside where the leaks were while it was raining with a magic marker, then kind of corresponded up the top and found out that's where they're coming from. So, we have this right here which is, see if you can see it, x fasten roof seal tape. Kind of works like um, self-leveling lapping sealant, except they claim it lasts a little longer. So we're going to seal all of those seams with this today. Hopefully it works. We will find out. Always like trying a new product. People swear by this stuff. And uh, so far, what I've played with a little bit, I'm pretty impressed. So we're going to get up on the roof, see if we can get all this sealed up. Well, we made it up top here, and as you can see, someone has caulked at one time all of these seams with regular household caulk all the way around. So we're going to see what we can do about that. So first step, got some paint thinner up here, a couple rags and a scraper. So we're going to clean off the old stuff, get ready to put this new tape down. So not going to film a whole bunch when I'm up here because I don't like heights. And I'm always worried I'm going to knock my phone over. So going to set it down, get some of this cleaned up, and I'll show you the process of how to apply this tape. Okay, we got one side cleared up. I did the back earlier. And this side, all cleaned with paint thinner. Scraped down to get all of the old silicone off because nothing likes to stick silicone. So how this stuff works, it is a super sticky tape. Like if it touches itself, you're done it will not come apart. On the back is a clear filament. So I just have this piece here laid out. I haven't peeled any piece, but that little piece in the back there to hold it in place. I'm not gonna film this because I've only got so many hands, but you peel the filament out, stick it over the seam, and it creates a permanent watertight bond. They say this stuff will last 15 years, which is a little better than lap sealant. So we're gonna give it a shot. Worst case, it peels off and I got to get up here and do all this again. 
So, there it all is. All the seams are sealed. A couple other little spots touched up. Really impressed with this product. I will leave a link down in the description. 50 foot roll of it was about 15 bucks. So, not even a bad price. Now the fun part, getting me and all this stuff down off the roof of this thing. Shouldn't have to come back up here until I do the 900 watts of solar I plan to put up here and the roof rack I plan to build to protect it all. So last time on the roof for a minute till we get to that step. Next on insulation, that'll be the next video.